guys. Nick Bailey here with On The Fly Guide Through. I thought I'd talk to you a little bit about why I love monofilament shooting lines. Um, I, I wasn't always, I didn't always like them, but now that's almost all I fish with, especially with these smaller rods. This is an 11 foot LTS switch rod. Uh, they call it a seven weight, but I'm fishing 420 grain gadget switch on it and, and a flow head. And I'm throwing a great big dumbbell-eyed rubber leg black thing. And the reason I like the reason I like the, the monofilament shooting line is really yeah of course they cast good but there's more important things than just the cast. And I'll show you. We'll rip some off here and I'll show you. If you look across there, you can see that slot right there where that slot is made. Right where I got into it. And I'll get my line ready for it. But I can effectively push that slot and keep my fly in there during a lot more time and not pull it out with this monofilament because I don't have to have a running line that's on the water pulling against, pulling, that's pulling against. I can lift the monofilament up off the water and run my fly through there and it's just swinging through. And sw it's actually not swinging yet, it's swimming through there, sinking and coming across and there's no drag pulling that fly up out of the water column. So, say I, I, I suspect there's a fish halfway through that run, I'm gonna cast up above it. And you can't do this, you can with some regular lines, but monofilm is so easy, and like a spectrum. And then watch, see how I'm holding my line up above it? And this time of year, all these fish are gonna be on the bottom, so you have to get the flies down and you have to go as slow as you can. And the problem is if you have too much of your running line pulling that fly line across, it's gonna keep your fly high in the water column. And I don't care how much tungsten you put on the end of that thing or how much weight you put onto it, you're not gonna get the fly to where the fish are. So in the winter, you have to, you have to run. And if you have an intermediate, I wish somebody would make a short intermediate gadget, please. You guys, you line makers out there, if you're watching this, make a short intermediate gadget because it makes this even that much better. Then we don't have to deal with that fly line. I can go straight down. And that's why I like that um, the 3S Scandies from LTS so well is because I can do the same thing. On the river today, I really don't need to fish this gadget because you know this fly might even be a little big for him. So I hope that helps. A lot of guys are asking me what why do you like the mono so well? I hope you understand a little bit now. I can set up, I'll do one more. I can set up where I want that fly to swim through. I'm not necessarily swinging it through there, but I'm not dead drifting it either. It's, it's like a swim through. I'll do it again. Hold my broad tip high, swimming it through. I have, I have just enough tension on that fly line, just enough to feel if, if something is down there hitting it. Not hardly any. I don't want to pull it out of the water column. So I hope that helps. Nate Bailey on the fly. Get your butt out here and fish. <laughs>